Hello everyone, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this video, we are going to learn about how to automate Outlook application with the help of Visual Basic application while working in Excel. So in Excel VBA, we can automate Outlook, right? Suppose we have to send a uh, several mail, uh, you know, like some reports, maybe dashboard or some uh, attachments, and we need to uh, create uh, several mails and then sending it manually. Uh, like putting some you know, uh, marking some email in uh, to maybe in CC and BCC as well, right? And then just need to compose uh, the draft like the email body and then uh, putting signature and then we will send the mail, right? So in doing that, we consume a lot of time or you know productivity time, right? And that's not a product basically. Uh, that's unproductive hours basically because see, if anything that can be automated and and then you are uh, you, know, you are put like putting your hours in doing the uh, doing that activity it means you are doing unproductive uh, unproductive you know things basically right activities so here uh, in this tips number visual basic tips number 6 uh, we will learn uh, how to create outlook application like how to create outlook email as well as you know uh, how to attach the uh, any of the attachment maybe excel file powerpoint or whatever the file you are going to attach right and that Again, drafting like uh, creating the mail body as well as marking emails into two CC and BCC as well, and then displaying the uh, uh, email so that user can review and send it to uh, the audience. Basically, if you are confident that okay, whatever the mails you have drafted, you just need to send it directly, no need to review, then you can also send it uh, that email automatically. So let's uh, move to Excel window and start uh, doing the coding. So here basically I have chosen some random file so that I can automate you know, and send it as attachment. So don't worry about and don't think about these graphs basically. This is uh, this file is especially like I have considered this file to for sample purpose. You can pick any of the file to learn right. So no need to focus on uh, this particular chart. Though if you want to learn this chart I have already uploaded a video on for this chart. You can uh, search it on my channel and you can find it right. So uh, uh, let's uh, to develop this, uh, you know, to automate this Outlook application, we just need to visit uh, the developer uh, tab. Basically, first just click on developer tab, and then in under code group, you will find Visual Basic application. So you just need to click on Visual Basic application, and once you click on Visual Basic application, uh, you will like uh, the Microsoft Visual Basic for application win window will appear on a screen, right? So here, uh, first of all, before doing any coding or inserting any module. We just need to add the reference of Outlook application, right? To attach the reference, just uh, click on Tools and then click on Reference. And you just need to uh, find out Microsoft Outlook 16.0 object library. So just select any of this and press M. Check it and click on OK. So now you have uh, added the reference. So Whenever you will, uh, we will use uh, the Outlook application. There will be no problem. Like we ha we have already provided the reference to our Excel application, so that while sitting on Excel, we can refer all those objects, properties, and any method of Outlook, and we can automate uh, with the help of uh, Visual Basic application while sitting in Excel, right? So uh, let's add uh, one module here. So to add the module, just click on Insert menu and click on Module. Now you can see that one module has been added. Let's start the coding. So first of all, uh, we just need to uh, start with serve and give the rev give the sub procedure name here. So I'm just going to give the name as email active workbook, right? Active workbook, and just create some room over here, right? And now we just need to uh, start writing like uh, declaring Outlook variable because see we are going to refer the Outlook application as well as we are going to create an email right so we need to declare two variables one is Outlook application and one is Outlook objects so I will explain the object later on right let's declare the variable so dim uh, let's put comment so that whenever you download this attachment uh, you know, from the description box uh, you will be able to relate the code right so let's uh, Put some comment here so declare outlook variables right and here we need two variables i told you 
one is for outlook application and one is for email like mail right so let's declare dim outlook app as outlook dot application simple very simple right and the second variable will be dim ol mail as you know object let's uh, keep it as object later on we will utilize uh, you know as uh, the object as a mail right and now uh, we need to uh, set this outlook application like uh, refer the outlook application because see i have already opened the outlook application and so we need to refer the outlook application and open that outlook application you know some uh, and then start new mail right so let's put some comment over here open the application and start a new mail so see because i have already opened then uh, it will be very fast so i will recommend you while automating uh, the outlook with the help of you know uh, excel just keep open your outlook so that uh, it will take minimum uh, minimum time maybe fraction of second to send your mail otherwise it will open the outlook application and then log into that application with the credentials we will provide and then it will send the data or send the attachment right so just keep open be ready your application outlook application like maybe you have configured uh, your outlook with some id official id right and then start using uh, this coding right in that case you will be able to uh, you know your uh, your automation will be very fast right so let's uh, set the reference of outlook application first so set well app is equal to new outlook dot application and the second one is uh, as we have already declared a variable but this variable is object it's a generic right we have not provided any you know uh, particular variable maybe email you no know, maybe other variable but uh, we just have declared as a generic object type variable so we need to set this variable as the email body like so mail type so let's set set o l mail is equal to now uh, we will utilize this old outlook application so outlook application dot create item and then so uh, here you can see that uh, as a parameter we can provide several parameters like 0 1 2 3 4 or maybe some constant value so either you can uh, select the ol mail item so for ol mail item the code is 0 so let me uh, let's go through the the coding here uh, the uh, the like the description of each and every code so he, as you can see that there are different types of several types of you know outlook items and for for first like outlook appointment uh, we need uh, like the value is one contact two same like there are several numbers like different numbers has been assi assigned to each and every item right so here we are going to utilize this one zero like so the code is the value is zero hence we are you know uh, we are let me go through here we are uh, giving the reference as zero because we are utilizing uh, the mail item not appointment contact and task and that's why right so let's let's uh, log into application maybe suppose you have not configured uh, the, your outlook right and uh, you have not logged in or uh, uh, opened the application so first of all what it will do it will open the application and then create an item and then log in right so well uh, set so ol app dot session dot login okay so well uh, app dot session dot login it means outlook application dot session dot login so it means suppose we have not created any instance of you know and we have not logged into the outlook so what will it will do it will create a new instance of outlook and then it will log in with the credential you will provide and if you have already started your outlook and you have already logged in and with some id so it will skip basically it will not do anything right okay now uh, let's start the writing the uh, code to uh, send the mail or create the mail right so let's have with well we will mail and here and with and with delete the variable space over here and let's start writing so first of all uh, we will utilize uh, 
two like so so as you know two so whatever you will write over here in this uh, inverted commas uh, it means you are referring to like uh, whenever we compose any uh, mail we just need to refer where to whom we are sending so suppose i am sending this mail to the data labs labs at the rate gmail.com if you want to uh, add multiple email id into then you can just uh, semicolon add and you know you can give the reference like the uh, uh, like give the email id dilip dot tiwari at the rate the data labs dot org okay so in that in in the same way like putting a semicolon after each and every email id you can add multiple email id there is no foundation right so let's add cc suppose you just want to send the mail uh, keep someone in uh, cc as well then you can mention uh, his or email id email id here so i'm just ignoring uh, ignoring it uh, keeping it blank and again bcc so if you want to keep someone uh, in bcc then you can add the email id in the inverted comma right now we need to give the subject line so dot subject and subject is you know uh, let's put subject like uh, this is my first outlook automation okay and now we need to uh, write some things in our body mail body so let's dot body is equal to start so as i already told you that this is a very simple automation we are not going to use any line break some formatting or any other else this is a very simple automation so that you can learn how to automate outlook uh, with the help of visual basic application in a later you know uh, like videos uh, uh, maybe uh, we will uh, we will focus on some advanced you know uh, advanced topic of uh, outlook automation like accessing the you know uh, accessing the some folders like uh, formatting uh, the mail body and uh, attaching embedding some you know uh, pictures in mail body as well right so as of now we just need to focus on simple you know simple mail drafting so hi this is uh let's keep it as you know hi this mail has been generated you to automatically with with the help help of vba okay and then uh, we need to uh, attach uh, this particular active workbook so attachment not attachments dot add and then you can provide any of the path like suppose you want to attach some ppt file then you just need to give the full path over here maybe like you know you can give the uh, entire path like uh, starting and including well, in full path means uh, the path as well as the file name right so here uh, we need to add this active workbook so there is no need to uh, give the path it will automatically pick uh, from the name so active book dot full name so full name it means it will provide the path along with uh, the file name as well as two attachments and what outlook will do it will uh, upload that you know <coughs> that attachment and then send it to the user like the recipients over here whatever the id you have mentioned over here right and now we need to display okay so here so basically we are utilizing display just because we just want to review the email before sending it uh, and suppose if uh, if you are confident uh, about your email and you know that uh, whatever the e uh, email you have drafted uh, with the help of visual basic application that is 100% uh, 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 error free basically so you can use like you know, the send so just uh, just remove this line the display and uh, uncomment this line and uh, then you will be able to send this uh, mail automatically without reviewing this but let it be uh, a display and just put uh, like make it comment over here right so now we have successfully uh, written uh, all those codes which is required which are required basically which are required to send the email uh, automatically now uh, the time is like suppose you have done with everything in unit, in, now we need to close 
the outlook application i'm not saying that see we have started manually so we are not going to close automatically we just need to release whatever the variable we have created in our you know memory we just need to release both the memory so that we can further utilize that memory for other purpose right otherwise that will be keep running until the time your outlook will keep running right so let's uh, create kill this application whatever the application like the memory it has been it has occupied so clearing memory so first of all like uh, first of all we will clear the memory outlook application and then uh, sorry outlook mail and then outlook application right so let's uh, set olml is equal to nothing and then application set ol app is equal to nothing okay that's done so uh, there is a simple code which uh, with the help of that code you can automate you know automate the outlook from excel and you can see in the active workbook as attachment with the response which you have mentioned for two, under two cc and bcc so here we have only uh, like use two email id under two and no email id in cc and bcc right so let's debug this compile and you can see that there is no uh, syntax error basically here that's why it's uh, they it's not showing any error so let's click on this uh, like just uh, keep your cursor under the sub and end sub statement and then just click on here run alternatively you can assign uh, this particular uh, sub procedure name uh, on some command button and then just click on over that so let's click on here and utilize this so here you can see that uh, one email has been successfully created with the help of visual basic automation and now you can see that two email ids are available in uh, two section there is no nothing in cc the subject line is this is my first outlook automation the same whatever we have written in our code here right and uh, this is the attachment uh, the excel file which we are working and here you can see that uh, this is the mail body hi this is mail has been generated automatically with the help of visual basic application right so let's close this uh, and you can see that as i'm closing no so uh, that was the first one like we are displaying this um, comment this display and uncomment this uh, and and now click on that run item so here you can see that nothing has been created it means it has been sent uh, on the given id and now here uh, let's see the send item in send item you can see that uh, this particular mail has been sent to two users one is the data labs at gmail.com and the second one is lib.tiwari at the rate the data labs.org okay so in that way you can either review that mail and then send it manually or you can directly send without uh, involvement uh, user involvement so this is all about how to uh, making a simple automation uh, with the help of visual basic application here right so hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching please like share comment and subscribe have a great day bye bye